accounting for nearly half of all agriculture within the state, keeping the poultry industry running at peak efficiency is vital to Georgia's economy. That's the purpose of events like the annual Poultry Tech Summit, where leaders from a number of different sectors got the opportunity to check out some cutting-edge technology within the industry. This is bringing together in a very unique forum researchers, those in commercial companies, the producers, and the early innovators, those that have, uh, have early stage intellectual property, early stage IP, to come together for the advancement of these technologies to move the industry forward. It's been amazing to see how quickly the, the tech space has moved on, and it's really events like this that uh, bringing partners together, not only from the technology innovation side, but then also with venture capitalists, and I'll say the truth checkers, those folks that will be using and buying those technologies in the field, bringing them all together so that they can give this iterative loop of feedback and expedite that uh, development curve. That communication, which has been sorely lacking in the past, can be used to troubleshoot some of the major issues facing the poultry business today. That was highly necessary in order to move forward, be efficient overall in the advancement of these important technologies. Delivering on animal welfare issues, food safety, worker safety uh, issues is, is uh, an emerging uh, part of the mix. So all these, and in, in, uh, of course on the forefront, is sustainability or, or carbon net zero. That's the focus of the numerous projects being presented at this conference, which provides an opportunity for those in attendance to help with advancing their research. Some of them are looking for partnerships. Others are looking for uh, different trials, as we've heard already, uh, on farm to expand their research. And, and others are, are looking to, in some cases, be acquired. Uh, or uh, some sort of funding mechanism in order to move forward. We have a number of success stories across the spectrum uh, on each of those uh, from past poultry tech summits that, that have all been held here. As for what exciting advancements have been made within the industry, it's technology that will be beneficial on a number of different fronts. This morning we're talking a lot about uh, the microbial space. So we had examples on presentations today of how we can expedite our learning curve on what salmonellas are actually present within the field, but then also prevalent through processing. Some of our old methods of quantification of those uh, really have not allowed us to get in tune and be as quick to respond to some of those specific serotypes of salmonella as a challenge. The other is really data capture so that we're able to be able to react much quicker uh, to respond in terms of well-being or health of our birds. Reporting from Fulton County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.